So, um, you know, th this this new album, Testimony of the Ancients, is more like a, um, I call it a dream album. You just close your eyes and, and, you know, just mind warp, you know, just go on a journey. And um, and I think that that the samples, you know, they really add to the music, get, give that, you know, that uh, atmospheric thing to it, you know, that atmospheric edge to it. Because if you, like, listen to, like, a 100% brutal death metal album, it is just like um, one mood, you know, it's just aggression, that's it, you know. But we wanted to create different moods. We wanted to create, like, uh, you know, more atmosphere, you know. Um, you know, you know, like, like I, uh, on the uh, intros, you know, all these intros, like bitterness and sorrow, those are all feelings, actual feelings. And if you play, like, distorted guitars all the time, you, you wouldn't be able to you know, let them feelings come out and, and then actually, you know, have the listener get that same feeling, you know? Yeah, we thought a long time about, you know, lyrics because all these, all these bands, you know, where are they singing about? You know, they're singing about gore, about horror, about blood and guts and stuff, you know. But uh, for me, you know, I mean, it doesn't say nothing to me anymore, you know. See, um, I guess everybody is, um, at one point of their life, they start asking questions, whether it's like when you're 20 or 40 or whatever, 70, you start asking questions like, you know, um, what is the use of me being here, you know? And I guess that's, that's the whole thing, the whole concept of the album, you know, the quest, you know, for the truth of existence, you know. It, it's, some, it's something else, but it's very natural again, you know. Everybody thinks of that, you know, at one point. Well, that's a big misconception about Scott Burns. See, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody goes there, that's true, you know, but all the bands, all the newer bands that go there, they don't have an old identity. They're not original. They don't know what, you know, what they want. So they see Scott as a death metal group. Go, oh, God, Scott is God. He gave obituary good sound, Sepultura. He'll give us a good sound. And of course, Scott has his own ideas about how it should sound. So it will all sound the same. But, you know, if you got, you know, like a clear head, you go like, oh, I want this and that. We want a drum sound like this. We want this and this atmosphere. We want to create this and that. You'll get the perfect sound, whatever you want. You really got to work together with him, you know? Mm -hmm. He's like, he's, you know, you got two arms, you know? He's like your other arm. If, if, you're, if, you're, if your arm is just going to stay there and you're going to just let this arm work, you know, you're going to be pretty helpless, you know? You got to pretty much work together as a team, you know? Because he has his own views about it, everything. It's just like Patrick said, you know? If you go in there and let him do all the work, oh, he'll make us sound heavy, you know? then you're just going to sound just like any other band, you know? But if you go there with your own views, you know, just your own direction, and you say, Scott, this is what I want, Scott's going to make you sound like you want to sound, you know? It's going to be perfect. carefully and have a close listen to the album it's it's completely something else you know it's it's nothing like any death metal band did before I mean we, we have like I mean we listen to different music you know we listen to uh, jazz music you know jazz fusion you know we listen to uh, horror soundtracks movie soundtracks stuff like that you know and it's, it's, it's basically like time to evolve for the death metal movie, you know <laughs> Uh, 
people have to have to change because death metal now, where I see it now, is set a dead end, man. You know, because uh, you know all these all these new bands coming out, you know, sound completely the same, no originality whatsoever. You know, they're not really the best musicians. You know, I mean, how much can you take it further? It's like you know, it's a dead end. You should progress, you know. And I hope that the people, you know, you know, evolve with us and just, you know. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know that people should go out and totally change their style of music. I mean, as far as, as far as death metal goes, it's always supposed to be heavy and aggressive and, you know, and whatever. But if, if you want to do sometimes things right or if you want to make yourself happy, I guess, whatever, do it, do it your way. <laughs> Morbid Angel here, bringing you the world premiere debut video from Blessed Are the Saints.